Hello, I'm Colby Ironman, Director of Gardens here at Copia, the American Center for Wine, Food and the Arts. And today we're cooking pizza in the gardens. And the first thing we got to do is harvest a few vegetables. And then we're going to cook up a garden fresh pizza right out of our wood-fired oven. And one of the first things I want to get are some new potatoes. This is a little potato patch here. And what we want to do is come through and harvest some of the potatoes that haven't fully developed yet. They haven't developed their tough skins yet, but they're a great fresh spring vegetable. And so what we want to do is just come along the side of these and uh, I've just got this fork here, a little trowel could work. And we're just going to loosen the soil a little bit right along the edge. And then we're going to get in there and just, well, I guess you call it rooting around. All right, these are beautiful, fresh new potatoes that we just robbed from the edge of this potato plant. So what happened is this, this plant uh, we, we started it from a seed that looked not unlike this. We planted a seed piece right about this size, had a few eyes on it, and it sprouted up, started growing, and uh, we, we've hilled some soil back onto the plant, and that really helps us get a bigger crop off of these potatoes because a lot of the tubers are actually produced on the part of the stem above the seed piece that you plant in the ground. So we plant that pretty deep at the bottom of a trench, and as it grows up, we push the soil back onto it, and it gives us a much better crop. And so these new potatoes have... Uh, that nice loose skin um, and uh, really nice sweetness, not as quite as starchy. And uh, what we're doing here is we're not trying to harvest the whole plant. We're just robbing a little bit from the sides. The nice thing about potatoes is that they give you a clue as to when they've started to develop their tubers underground. And that clue is flowers. And you can see these potatoes in this patch have already flowered. So those are done. This was a little flower bud right here that's already dropped its petals. And when you see flowers, you know that about two weeks later, you'll have uh, some new potatoes to harvest. So keep an eye on, uh, on the flowering, and you'll be uh, ready to scratch around and find some new potatoes and uh, put those on top of your pizza. One of my favorite toppings for a garden fresh pizza is leeks. These have been really nice for us, really great crop for us this spring. And uh, this is just a beautiful stage here. We start harvesting them fairly early at the pencil stage, and we take those into the kitchen. They use them kind of similar to a green onion. Uh, with a slightly different flavor, but makes for a really nice spring garden addition, and we get a long harvest off of the bed. So we sow them, plant them out, I should say, pretty thickly, but uh, ultimately we thin them down so that we can get a full-size leek like this. So, uh, And when it's time to harvest, what we want to take is a garden fork like this and loosen the soil a little bit so we don't actually break the roots off while we're harvesting. We want to harvest all the roots and then trim those off. And then we'll, we'll trim it down and, and cook these up. Makes a wonderful pizza topping, sautéed, little olive oil, a little salt, and uh, makes a really nice topping on a fresh garden pizza.